my name is Dan and I hope that you guys came here because you also love comics as much as I do. So, uh, the first book that I read for this week was Wolverine Sabretooth Reborn and I'm gathering that this takes place like like before Wolverine lost his healing factor because they kind of mention his his healing factor quite a few times in this book. Um, if you have not read The Death of Wolverine, well, there was this one kind of villain whose name is Romulus who is involved in that. And that guy is also a part of this story. And Sabretooth is back. And I'm not going to reveal how he is back because Wolverine did kill Sabretooth. And I don't want to spoil it for you guys for those who haven't read this yet. But Wolverine has to fight him yet again because somehow he has mysteriously returned. And I thought this was decent. Um, I really liked the art. I thought the art style was was pretty good. Um, it's Jeff Loeb, written by Jeff Loeb. And Simone Bianchi, I think, is the artist. And it looks pretty good to me. Now... The story, I was kind of tempted to rate it 4 out of 5 stars when I finished reading it because I did like it. But in retrospect, I was kind of like, well, it wasn't that great because it was kind of short and it didn't really go into too much detail. But um, there was a hint as to who really started the Weapon X program, which was kind of a shocker. And I don't know if it's true or not or if it was just a, you know, just a trick. But I did, like I said, I did enjoy this, and if you are into, like, knowing Wolverine's story, I would definitely recommend checking this one out. I think, I think it is worth picking up if you're into following what's going on with Wolverine. Okay, up next we have The Return of the Living Deadpool. Now this one picks up from the other book, the... I think it was The Night of the Living Deadpool. I don't remember the exact title, but I do know that I found it online and read it there because I was not able to get a hard copy of that one. But I did manage to find a copy of the sequel, and I thought this was a, a really fun book. Now, yes, the whole plot is a little silly, and I don't know if I want to reveal too much about the plot, because I feel like if I reveal too much, it might spoil it for you guys. Well, anyways, I can sum it up into saying, imagine a world full of a million douchebags, and one of those douchebags actually turns out to be a pretty cool guy, and he saves the human race. If I can sum it up that way, um, yes, this takes place in a world where zombies have taken over the world and Deadpool decides to be a stand-up guy and to try to save everybody. And by doing so, he unwittingly unleashes another type of carnage on the world, but then he comes back and fixes it all, which I thought was pretty darn cool. So yes, if you're thinking for like a logic storyline, one that just would make sense if it was real. No, this isn't that type of book. But being that it is Deadpool, and Deadpool is rather silly a lot of time, it just for the sheer factor, the fun factor, I did rate this 4 out of 5 stars. I did think it was a good, fun read. Um, I have read Bun's writings before in some other volumes. I don't remember what I read them in. And plus the artwork was kind of interesting. I liked how like Deadpool was the only colored person and everything else was like in black and white. I thought that was kind of interesting. But yeah, it was a good, fun read. And if you are a fan of Deadpool, then I would definitely check this out. It's worth it's worth picking up. Up next we have Mind the Gap Volume 1. This is another image comic. And this one is about a young girl named Elle Peterson. And she, of course she comes from a wealthy family. And someone in her family does not approve of her dating a guy who is underclass to her or poor or whatever. I don't know how to describe it. But he's not rich, okay, basically. So um, somebody attacks her and puts her into a coma. But that's not the end of the story. Yes, with just that element alone, it sounds like a thriller. 
um, like a crime thriller, but to sum that up and then to add something, a new element, um, she's able to, like, kind of be outside of her body and, like, this own little dimension she shares with other, they call it the garden because they're all people that are quote-unquote vegetables. They are all people that are in comas and... Yeah, so it's kind of an interesting story, but it's not as exciting as other Image comics I've read. Um, I, I, you know, I'm not really seeing too many people talking about this. I mean, it, it's okay, and I did rate this 3 out of 5 stars because it is an okay story. Um, it could be much better. I don't know that I will read volumes 2 and 3. I'm not in a really crazy rush to to read them. But if the opportunity comes along and I do get a chance to read them, then hey, I'll read them. But it's not anything I'm like in a dire urgency to finish reading. Okay, up next we have The Game of Thrones Volume 3 and Volume 4. And I'm just going to do both of these. Because it's the same series, it's just two different volumes, and plus to save on time, because they're really just the same story. Um, if you're curious as to what I thought of Volumes 1 and 2, if you go to my main page, you can see in my popular videos, I did a review of Volumes 1 and 2. Now, before I read Volumes 1 and 2, I have to admit... I had never really seen the TV show from HBO. I saw like one episode. It was like the first episode. I've never read the books either. Um, I do own like I think the first three or four books in this series. But I've never read them. So I'm not one of the typical like Game of Thrones fans out there. Well, anyways, just to get into this, I'm going to briefly... i got to be careful what I share with you guys, but these are produced by Dynamite Comics. And they are for mature readers, because they do contain sex, violence, and nudity. So it's kind of, you know, not appropriate for children. I'm going to show you a little bit from each book. Uh, volume 3, I thought was just okay. Um, I did rate that 3 out of 5 stars. Volume 4, on the other hand, um, it really started to pick up and get into it. And I kind of enjoyed that one, so I rated that one 4 out of 5 stars. But yeah, I mean, this basically um, goes over... I think it's the first book, The Game of Thrones, I think is what these graphic novelizations entail. It's just that... So that is that. Um, after that, and I think this is going to be my last book for my weekly wrap-up, we've got Ant-Man's Second Chance Man. And I think this is Volume 1, because I think it's a, it's a new series. If you don't know too much about Scott Lang, he was an ex-criminal who used to like to steal stuff. Kind of became reformed, and he stole Hank Pym's Ant-Man costume. And Hank Pym was cool with it because he did something good, something heroic, and he got to become Ant-Man. So, yeah, he let him keep the costume. And this is him trying to make a second start, like, for his daughter Cassie in Miami. And he kind of starts his own business and tries to settle in. And he kind of pals up with some ex-villain type characters. Like really C-list ex-villains I've never heard of. But yeah, it was just okay. Um, this tends to have really like high ratings on Goodreads. Like a lot of people gave this a 4 out of 5 star rating for some reason. I just didn't think it was that great. Um, I did rate this 3 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. Okay, yeah, so I am going back to filming, like, in my laundry room because of the fluorescent lighting. And it's only because it's the winter time. It's always cloudy all the time. So until spring and summer come back to us, or unless we get another great sunny day during the winter, I'm probably going to be filming in my laundry room because the, the lighting is the only way I can do these videos. I just hate to put out videos that have the yellow lighting of interior lights so that explains that but um if you like this video please like it if you already 
are not a subscriber, please hit the subscribe button. So that way you can get my latest uploaded videos. Um, I do upload other videos besides these weekly wrap-ups. I know that it has been the fall semester and I've just been uploading just weekly wrap-ups because that's really all that I've had the time to do. But, you know, every once in a while I do upload other videos. So thanks for watching and until next time, later guys.